Good morning children. Now we will study how farming is done in Palampur. How farming activity is taking place in Palampur. We know that the land is fixed. The quantity of land is fixed. How much of amount of land, how much of area of land, the volume of land available on the earth is fixed. We cannot increase the area or volume of land here. Same way, farming is the main production activity in the <coughs> in Palampur. We have studied there are so many other activities, but they are limited. But farming is largely taking place. That most of the people in the village of uh, village are uh, <coughs> engaged in the agricultural activity. So here, seventy five percent of the people who are working here depended on farming for their livelihood in a Palampur. Almost 75% of the people in Palampur are engaged in agriculture. They could be farmers or farm laborers. Some are farmers and some are farm laborers also. We have studied 80% of the uh, 80, uh, 80 families in Palampur are upper caste, more large areas of land are uh, under the control of these upper caste families. Okay. Now here land area under cultivation. How much of percentage of land is cultivated is practically fixed. It is not more. Okay. In, uh, since 1960 in Palampur there has been no expansion of more land. Land which is cultivated from 1960 onwards same quantity of land is cultivated now also. No expansion, no more land is cultivated. So but we can, uh, we should demand the thing that uh, population is increasing. Okay, the requirement of people are increasing but the quantity of land which is fixed, uh, no increase. Okay, some of the wastelands were already utilized by 1960 itself. Waste land which was available in Palapur already utilized. Okay, now it has not increased. The same now also uh, the quantity of land is same available there. Okay. Now in the kind of crops, what kind of crops there or facilities are there? In the kind of crops grown or facilities available in Palampur would be resemble the same uh, villages in the uh, western UP. We have already studied the this village all resembles similar villages in the western Uttar Pradesh. Okay, Palampur is almost a similar to the <coughs> villages in western Uttar Pradesh. So same type of uh, way of agriculture or farming is done here also. So all land uh, is cultivated in Palampur. There is no wasteland. Maximum land is utilized in uh, Palampur. So here during the rainy season that is we call Kharif season. During the rainy season farmers grow jowar and bajra. These are the main crops in the rainy season farmers cultivate. Jowar and uh, bajra. These are the two crops cultivated. These plants are used as cattle field. It is given to the cattle or these crops are given not for consuming themselves. This is given to cattle only as a cattle feed, as a fodder. It is followed by the cultivation of potatoes. After this, they cultivate potatoes also between October and December. This period, they cultivate potatoes. Okay, largely they cultivate potatoes. Now, coming to the winter season, after December in winter season which is called a Rami season during the winter season the fields are sown with wheat now they cultivate wheat okay and winter season they cultivate wheat and also fields are sown with wheat from that wheat produced farmers keep enough wheat for their family okay and if they have surplus they sell it in the market some wheat for their for the consumption of the family they keep or store in their family and remaining or surplus or excess wheat they sell in the market and where is the market market is available in the nearby town Raikens we have already studied a part of the land which is also harvested once every year sugar cane its raw form or jaggery is sold to the traders
us in shampoo they also can uh, cultivate sugar cane and they all sell uh, jaggery make jaggery in western uttar pradesh region you can find a lot number of uh, sugar mills or the sugar cane is grown well in uttar pradesh region also so they also cultivate sugar cane and uh, sugar uh, the jaggery is also made and sold out in the and uh, town of shahpur the main reason why farmers are able to grow three different crops in a year and we know in some other regions one cropping only is done not multiple cropping many of the regions of our country there is only one cropping uh, is done one cultivation only one time is done because of the shortage of water here the farmers in palampur are cultivating three crops in a year okay they are called multiple cropping pattern multiple cropping system because why they have irrigation facilities proper irrigation facilities what is available tube wells are constructed <coughs> connected with electricity so that they are able to cultivate three crops in a year so people saw that electric run tube wells could irrigate much larger areas and uh, so effectively it can be done the first few tube wells were in, uh, installed by the government in the beginning uh, for the purpose of uh, irrigating the lands for the agricultural farmers in this region later on people or private sector also people also farmers they began to uh, install tube wells for themselves also okay how our farmers started setting up a private tube wells as a result by mid 1970s by 1970s the entire cultivated area of 200 hectares was irrigated so in this area the farmers largely started private sector or private people or farmers themselves started establishing tube wells so that the large areas were also um, started cultivation so here the land uh, is largely measured how the land is measured we know that largely we say hectares of land how many hectares of irrigated area or cultivated land here that is the unit of standard unit of measuring land is the hectares even though, but in villages in our country some many according to their languages all the states have different terms used for measuring land okay some regions we can find that a unit of measuring land is bigga or uh, etc okay so these are the different uh, the, uh, some are saying acres of land how many acres of land how many bigga or according to the languages and some of them say hectares but the standard unit of measuring land is hectare only how many hectares of land is cultivated you know not all the villages in india have such kind of high levels of irrigation like palampur palampur we have already studied that uh, uh, the land is irrigated <coughs> okay almost all areas of land is irrigated but all uh, india does not have such kind of system irrigation is not uh, available everywhere apart from the uh, river and plains some regions of there are rivers flowing through especially in the case of uttar pradesh ganga and yamuna rivers are flowing through so that the large area is well connected uh, well irrigated but some regions where there is no irrigation facilities we have already studied in geography that uh, regions of uh, part of south india some of the regions and the rocky surface of the deccan plateau regions so these all or the uh, these regions there is no sufficient water available no uh, rivers are flowing so that there is no irrigation facilities so here some of the regions are in contrast plateau regions of deccan uh, plateau regions there is no proper irrigation facilities some coastal areas also so there is uh, some regions there is a low rainfall shortage of rainfall not cultivated properly okay to grow more than one crop in a piece of land during one year uh, is not a more than one crop that can be two crops or three crops for the example we have studied about palampur there are three crops cultivated multiple crops are cultivated so this is called 
multiple cropping pattern okay so in palapur multiple cropping pattern is done more than one crop in in the same piece of land cultivated in a one year one agriculture year okay so that is called multiple cropping pattern it can increase the production but we need a more facilities like all the irrigation facilities should be available then only we can um, cultivate more crops in a year okay all farmers in uh, palampur grow almost um, two main crops okay many of them are cultivating three but uh, so large number of people are cultivating three crops in a year so many are growing potato as the third crop in the past 15 to 20 years so many farmers in the palampur are cultivating potato as a third crop also okay we will continue this lesson in the coming classes